your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection designed to deliver the profound message of Apostle Joshua Selman directly to you. This message goes beyond being a mere source of blessings. It's a dynamic force, sparking the flame of greatness within you. Open your heart expansively and permit your mind to fully immerse in the opulence of this transformative diet. Before we venture further, I extend a sincere invitation for you to actively participate in this meaningful content. Engage by expressing your gratitude. Extend a virtual thumbs up to the video, share its wisdom with those in your circles who could find it beneficial, and become a subscriber to our channel for an uninterrupted flow of enlightening content. Your support is not only acknowledged, but also holds a pivotal role in our continual endeavor to disseminate these profound messages. As you tune in to absorb this distinctive message, the last move of God before Jesus returns. God is doing something across the globe that is phenomenal. God is doing something in Africa that is phenomenal. As a man of God, I was sharing with a few people back in Lagos. I'm seeing the formation of a cloud that once happened before we came to the scene. There is a cloud that is gathering again. God is moving in a way perhaps not exact, but a way similar to what he has done before. Maybe before some of us were born, but he's coming again. And we are seeing the formation of that prophetic cloud gathering from region to region gathering from nation to nation gathering from continent to continent perhaps could it be the formation for the last move of god before jesus returns i doubt that there will be many many other moves the signs are already showing that we are wrapping up it is true but we are seeing a heavy cloud that is forming and this cloud is going to pour out rain. That rain is not going to be little. That rain will last. Hallelujah. It is true. This is not a cloud that is just forming. Just No, 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 no. This one is beyond the fist of a man's hand. It is a very mighty thick cloud. The Spirit of God himself is gathering that cloud. It is a mighty rain of revival is a mighty reign of outpouring, is a mighty reign of awakenings. It is the reenacting of Ezekiel 37 again. And I have seen this many times in my visions. In 2005, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the continent of Asia. I saw fire just like a single candlestick and i saw many chinese young people and it came upon one just one person and it began to spread began to spread began to spread you see i have seen the same formation in africa because this is a continent that will present christ to the world before jesus returns it is in prophecy it is true and if you are here gathered tonight, let me tell you, it is because there is something within your spirit. Tonight, deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Doesn't matter whether you are a male or female. Doesn't matter whether you are young or old. It is a prophetic formation over something mighty that God is doing. And we're glad that we'll be witnessing this in our lifetime. The fathers, in the next 10 to 20 years, the truth is that for the fathers, the cloud is already shifting. They are already seeing the signs. There are chariots ready to come and pick them. It will not be immediate, but it will not be very long. There is a baton in the spirit a transference genuine authentic graces and mantles over the next decade hear me i'm saying this by the spirit of prophecy that over the next 10 years there will be a prophetic transition 
within the body of Christ. There are many. Others have gone still within the decade. Men like Reinhard Bonke, men like T.L. Osborne, Pat Robinson left this year, Maurice Sorulo, they have gone. Our fathers in Nigeria are still here because of their covenant of long life. They will still be here for a while, but it will not be for too long. They know it. We know it. So there is a transition in the spirit. And Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me, if you can see me, if you will not lose focus and see me. But you see, it is not only a handing over of mantles that will be happening. There are other mantles that could not be handed over because there were no faithful vessels to carry it. And when the carriers were old, all those who were in front of them were in the order of Gehazi and Judas. So they could not hand over the mantle. And many of them died with the mantles. But you see, mantles don't go back to heaven. No. That means they are somewhere being preserved by the spirit of grace. Waiting for vessels that will become fit and dexterous. Listen. You will see mantles that we have not seen in the body of Christ maybe for the last hundred years. I pray we have the grace to receive them. You will see people walk in mantles that the last person who walked in it was written in the Bible. And you are wondering where did this grace come from? This blend of spiritual formation. Where is this one coming from? I have seen this and it will happen. you to pray one prayer whilst you are seated father i am available available to be the esther of my generation available to be the gideon available to be the roof the naomi available to be the elijah shadeka salaka Go ahead and pray. You're not wasting your time. This is a prophetic and an apostolic ministry. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Respond to the staring in the spirit.
Please don't be distracted. We are becoming a people spiritual. The people yielded. Vessels that he can use. Mighty vessels that he can use. Take a few minutes. I just sense a staring in the spirit. Don't waste it. Take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. We see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, a mighty formation in the spirit. This is Koinonia. Ale parasu brede beleko kasa braga di balakusiata. The spirit man is getting enlarged. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated if you can. And so all across the globe, there is a mighty formation. If you are not aware of this, it is because you are not spiritual. The Bible says these days will be like the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, there were two groups of people. There were those who understood what God was doing and they were participating in the building of the ark. And they were the mockers and the naysayers completely disinterested. But the Bible says it was God himself that came to shut the door. And when he shut the door, the flood came. And everyone who was not in that act of safety died. Everyone. Hallelujah. One of the graces that the apostolic ministry enjoys is access to the dealings of God per season, per dispensation, so that you understand what God is doing and then you can interpret what God is doing and help his people prepare so that when he comes in that regard, there are vessels that are prepared. You know it is within your power to look God at the face and say, I reject you. I reject the mantle you want to put upon my life. I'm, I'm not interested in your program. Get out of my life. He will respect you. But the consequence is that you and all those who were designed to be saved and blessed through your life will have to perish. Number two, the second defect with the vessels that God is looking for or the vessels that are available is that there is a lot of zeal listen carefully and spirituality or a semblance of it but without true revelation and without compliance with divine patterns don't worry i'll dictate it for you you just listen to me so on one hand we have vessels who are not interested in god's program at all Number two, we have vessels who have the zeal for God, but it is not according to knowledge. Their zeal has led them into various shades of legalism, self-righteousness, and effort in the flesh, and even in futility to host God and host his program. 
this is something that the spirit of god wants to balance i have seen many people young people young ladies when you look at them you see zeal they love jesus sincerely but either because they were poorly mentored or either because they were bankrupt of an understanding of the patterns to follow you see zealous people if it's prayer they will pray if it's fasting they will fast if it's bible study they will study it, but they do not know the way to the city hallelujah this is even more frustrating because if you do not love god and that is why you are not being used that's fine but where you now seem to love God and after dissipating energy in spiritual activities, you get lost and frustrated. Many in this generation are in that category. They are already following a path that looks like a path to power, but it is a path to doom. Because when it has to do with the business of the kingdom, you are not at liberty to create your formula. There is a pattern that is ancient, older than us all. We are mandated to ask for the ancient path and to follow. Are you not surprised, ladies and gentlemen, and I say this with a great burden for the body of Christ. Are you not surprised that with the level of energy that is dissipated in spiritual activities in Nigeria, in Africa, on one hand, we thank God for what we have seen. But ladies and gentlemen, the kind of spiritual investment we seem to make versus the authority component doesn't match. No, 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 no. With all due respect, and I'm saying this with no sense of sarcasm whatsoever, I am part of the body of Christ, but the amounts of fastings that go on in this nation and around the world the amounts of prayer prayer projects are we together the amounts of consecration exercises huh? the amount of givings the amount of church attendance with all due respect the average believer in this country and across africa is very very zealous but why is it that the power component, it looks like we are not able to do much to strike a chord in the spirit in spite of all that is happening. Have you seen people who fasted and prayed because they were honestly trying to get causes out of their life sincerely and after the end of the seven days even dry, they have the same dream that led them to that experience. And they just get up and say, well, God be praised. How about many who have given sincerely and yet they did not receive anything? How about those who love the Lord, serving the Lord? Later they diagnosed that there's some sickness somewhere and they kept praying. They gathered prayer warriors, fasting, and the more they were fasting and praying, that person's body was degenerating in their presence till they died. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. The zeal is important, but if zeal is not guided, it will produce error. If you are on your way to Lagos and you follow the road to Kano and you start speeding, even with tears in your eyes, will you get to Lagos? The problem is not the vehicle. No, the problem is not your driving skill. The problem is maybe something is wrong with your GPS system and it now you sincerely so many people think because they are sincere they are right listen by the privilege of god's grace this man you see is talking to you is a student of revivals and awakening i have humbled myself taking responsibility myself why have we not seen the power that the fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses commanded i was sharing with them in lagos a great father of faith in this nation do you know how he got saved? He got saved because one of the old Yoruba preachers was on a crusade ground preaching. True story. And he carried his brother who was born crippled. Carried the brother and was passing the crusade ground, not attending. And the man shouted in Yoruba. He said, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. That was how his brother dropped and stood on his two feet. Till today, the brother is alive. 
when he saw that he said who is this no instrument to charge the atmosphere no clashing any symbol this man knew god and shouted by that authority it was archbishop benson in the who would go from street to street and say is there any dead man is there anyone here who is dead because he saw that they shall raise the dead and he took it literally I've visited many campgrounds in this nation and sometimes I ask them to share with me the histories around it my God this man knew God this man knew God one time I was in Bonnie Island and they showed me the pulpit of one great general of God the pulpit that was purported to have produced fire I saw it it's not that they told me there is something we are doing wrong and the first thing is for us to admit that we have done well but we need to cry on the spirit of grace let me tell you the first problem with this second group of people is called the danger and the deception of self-sufficiency the group of many who are zealous sincere people but are not able to see god it is a trap it's a weakness in all men that based on the abundance of Joshua Selman's fasting, the abundance of Joshua Selman's prayer, the abundance of Joshua Selman's word study, the abundance of Joshua Selman's attending conferences, God must use me. He doesn't have an option. No. I am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings, elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving God wholeheartedly. We warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel, and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.